cutting them off. Cut off the remnant there from the old one. Clean the face off. And here comes the countersink, which throws a little oil out. Just the direction of the nozzles when that tool comes over. Okay, so here we're drilling an 062 hole. Tech drilling, eighty-three. Rhombus cutter. Bring a diameter down and make some threads. beyond that thread. This part essentially looks like a little bolt. Here, I'll get one. That's what the part looks like. Countersink at that end, that was that first countersink that goes in. Right now it's cutting the diameter right around the hex. And actually it's cutting that second thread diameter. Now here, here it moves in the uh, uh, mill. There's two uh, side tools, side working tools. One below it. There's, yeah, you can see the spindle. It's, I don't have a tool in it. Index is uh, one degree increments. Three back working tools. You can see about one in it. Right there. Here's the second thread. And then dress that thread up a uh, little bit. I don't remember what I think it was there now. And then we'll cut it off here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and uh, lower the tool here. Get the cover while it cuts off. I'm not in any big hurry cutting off. Let's see better from up here. Yeah, there's the part. Come in, touch it with the countersink tool there. Take off a burr and uh, kick it out. There it goes. Run a little bit there to make sure it's kicked out. Back here's the air ejector mechanism. There was a little bit of a issue here. I put a new bushing in here, and it uh, works good. This air comes up through. This is actually an old piece of brake line I used for the parts ejector, and uh, so it, the whole assembly moves forward to kick the part, and then it blows air out through the center of the ejector as well. So, uh, this that's it. Four minutes, 20 seconds.